Hi guys, welcome back to our super quick revision series. My small attempt to make you revise your entire portion of your SCMPE. We are on to economic value added. In the last lecture, we had done the basics of that. Okay, how EVA is a performance measurement system. How does it help a company to find out whether it is adding well to the shareholders or not? Today, we are going to be revising the questions that we all had done. Now, question number one, two, three, as such, were basic questions. Okay, just I wanted that you all know how to be computing your economic value added and for that just few of the things that you need to be taking care i'm not trying to go uh, question by question for question number one two three please now in beginning you have to be finding out all the components of ko so therefore in this case kd it could be k loan also okay debt in any case is same only whether it is debentures or it is loans up and so on then the second one that is kp that is cost of preference shares then in that case there is ke that is cost of equity shares k R and finally, in this particular case, try to find out KO using the book value weights which were given. There were no adjustments in the first three questions of no pat or opening capital employee. Do remember that we need not do any of those six adjustments in no pat and any of those five adjustments in capital employed when you're trying to be computing KO. KO was not made by Stern Stewart, it was not made by him. So, therefore, KO use your regular fund as of SFM. Okay, and try to be computing KO. Directly apply the formula and get your EVA. In one of the questions, we required financial leverage. Financial leverage, if there is no preference dividend, then in that case, you will have done the formula of financial leverage. That's EBIT upon EBT, whenever there is no preference dividend as such. Okay, now these are the basic things. Question number one, two, three don't require much of a recap from my side. Now, question number four does require. Now, question number four was asked in SFM paper in May 2019. That was the first question, I think, of that particular paper. Now, the balance sheet that must have been given over here, okay, that is of question number four. Obviously, this balance sheet must be your closing balance sheet. That is by default, that is whatever I think. So, therefore, this must be your closing balance sheet. But what we require is always opening capital employed, okay. So, therefore, balance sheet that must have been given must have been closing balance sheet. Now, from here, first thing that we all try to be doing, your this figure is there, your this figure is there. We try to find out the tax rate. I guess that comes to 30% in that particular question. Okay, so find out the tax rate from the income statement. Then, once that particular thing is done, uh, <coughs> do not do any adjustments. This point, I'm right now only saying after a minute, do not do any adjustments whenever you are trying to be computing KO. See, for KO, you require individual components. Individual components in this particular case means what? There was equity and then in this case, there was reserves in surplus. So, therefore, both of them will be giving you KE or KR. In any case, both of them are same only. Long-term borrowings in this case will be your KD. Now, whenever you compute KE, whenever you compute KD, uh, KD, then you'll start to be computing KO. For KO, you require book value weights or your market value weights. In this question, only book value weights were there. So, therefore, 1600 of this and 200 of this. Now, below it was given to you that there is a bad debt provision up and so on. All those things you can start to be thinking whenever you are trying to compute EVA. Whenever you are calculating KO, it is your normal stuff only. Your normal stuff means this will be nothing but your equity. This will be nothing but your debt over here. Apart from that, you try to make your table, calculate your weights out of 100, compute your KO. That is the end of the matter. Okay, so therefore, there is the first thing. Please note that. Second, from EBIT, now my third way, okay, in the last lecture, I told you all approximately three ways how to be getting your no pad. So therefore, I'm trying to do this particular question by the third way. So from EBIT, we subtract tax paid, okay, and we also subtract the taxes on interest to arrive at no pad. Okay, once we all do that, then we have to find out adjusted no pad. So adjusted no pad, we got to be adding bad debt provision. That was supposed to be your fifth adjustment. Any nonsense provisions that have been created just because of your accounts, all those particular things need to be removed. Okay, that is one thing. Then, uh, please do not adjust the tax effect of bad debt provision. We are not trying to rectify books of accounts and nothing will be done retrospectively. Now, one thing, some people start to be thinking, sir, if bad debts is removed, then in that case, taxes will also be changing. The answer is no, it is no. Why? Because once you arrive at no pad, then all those adjustments have to be done without their tax effect. Okay, this guy who had made the EBA statement, he told that once you compute your no pad, we are just trying to adjust your no pad for those particular six, six things and nothing else. Okay, 
so that is one thing second do not do anything retrospectively okay that means do not try to be thinking so last year also we will try to rectify those particular things and therefore figures of this year will be changing but are like this your eva can never be calculated then you will have to be going to the first day when you started the business so all those things are not to be done nothing is to be done retrospectively okay then further please do not adjust bad debt provision in opening balance sheet now see there was one bad debt provision entry over here bad debt provision of 40 lakh rupees is included in indirect expenses okay uh <coughs> and rupees 40 lakhs is deducted from receivables in current asset now this year we created a 40 lakh provision so therefore we must have deducted this 40 lakh rupees from the current assets and we must have taken it where to our pnl account so from PNL account, we are going to be adjusting it, means we are going to be adding it back. Now, technically speaking, now if you remove it, obviously your current asset will also be increasing by 40 lakhs, right? But that will affect your closing balance sheet. It will not be affecting opening balance sheet. So, therefore, opening capital employed, it will not be affected. ICA had done it wrong in SFM modules. You all can check also. So, do remember that EVS formula made by that particular person is all based upon it is adjusted no pat minus adjusted opening capital employed into KO. So, therefore, I do not require closing capital employed for any reason here as such. Okay. So, please do not adjust bad debt provision in opening balance sheet as provision of this year will affect the closing balance sheet and not the opening balance sheet. Okay. In this problem, we assume that entire pat given to us. Uh, was given in form of the equity dividend hence the amount of reserves in surplus of closing will also be there in the opening balance sheet now what what i uh, mean by that is something like this see now obviously if this particular figure is going to be your closing balance sheet okay if this is your closing balance sheet i require in this case my opening balance sheet okay i require opening capital employed now unless and until told equity share capital will be same only in the beginning assuming that there is no fresh issue Long term borrowings will be same only in the beginning also, but reserves and surplus would have got adjusted because of the profit generated in this year. There is 539 rupees of profit. Okay. Now, in that particular case, now this 539, does it form part of this? Honestly, that depends upon in this case your equity dividend. Okay. Now, in this case, we have assumed this particular thing that entire profit okay was distributed in form of equity dividend so therefore nothing came in reserves in surplus in this period so therefore even in the opening capital employed this figure would have been 600 only okay that's it about this particular question and this was the last thing for this now this question <coughs> is also there in your uh, sfm modules kindly do check whatever are the errors that i have told you okay then further Further in this particular case, our last question. Now, this was an examination question and one of the best questions that I have seen on your economic value area. There was a company over here, JCDSL. It is basically for supply and distribution of water in Nagpur area. Now, those guys supply water to the homes also, to the like the uh, uh, municipal authorities also, to the government also up and so on. Their mission statement speaks a lot about them. Their mission statement is to provide clean and economical water for healthy life to the public. Now, these guys have two divisions. First, first is a WDO division, water distribution operation. This particular division is basically only trying to do one small thing and that, that is what try to distribute the water through pipes up and so on, whatever comes to our house. Okay, that is one thing. Second thing, you those guys have water packaging operation. What do they do over here? They sell that mineral package water. Okay, like you all get your bisleri up and so on. So, therefore, those particular things. Now, obviously, you all will understand that this particular division is kind of a monopoly situation for them. So, therefore, the government is trying to regulate that they don't meet, they don't try to be making extraordinary profits from this particular business and try to take advantage of, uh, you know, their monopoly situation. So, therefore, those guys have told that return on capital employed from this particular operation should not be more than 6.5 percent so something like this is given to us over here okay so therefore this is return on capital employed in case it ever goes more than 6.5 percent the government will be assuming this particular thing that you are taking advantage of your monopoly situation and they'll be charging you very heavily okay so some penalties up and so on will be there that is written over here whereas this particular thing is a free trade market is an open mode 
it is an open market whereby this particular company does what? Uh, water is there, they all filter it, they all refine it, they all put it up in the bottles, okay, and sell it off in the market. Now, one thing, currently the company is using 20% of total water supply for this particular division, okay, that is WPO, okay. But it can go to as much as 35 as per the government regulation. So, therefore, it can be using. So, therefore, there is ample scope for increasing the business over here. Okay. Uh, then, in that case, this data was given to us. Your revenue was given uh, department wise. Then, in that particular case, your operating cost was there. Operating profit, less interest cost, profit before tax, less taxes. This will give you profit after tax. Now, there were some adjustments also that were there. Capital employed in crores in the last two years as per the audited accounts, as per uh, calculated by water regulator for WDO operations only. Okay. Now, that particular data was there. And the following notes are to be taken for consideration. Now, what all notes were there? See, depreciation was there. Then provision for doubtful debts was there. R&D cost was there. Other non uh, other non-cash expenses were there. Now, do remember that in part first, though, we had to be computing EVA for 2019-20, not for 2018-19, 2019-20. Okay, then further, those guys had given you economic depreciation for 2019-20. And those guys are saying, in the last year, economic depreciation and accounting depreciation were completely same. Further, Current year's tax paid was given to you as 23 crore. This is tax paid, a tax paid. Do remember, you pay slightly lesser amount of tax because you get the benefit of interest also. Interest is an expense allowed for income tax. It helps you to save taxes. Then further, there was no deferred tax balance before this particular year. So therefore, there were no faltu kind of balances up and so on. No faltu provisions or something. Okay, then. The provision for doubtful debts as on the last day, last day, 2019-20 balance sheet in this case was 12 crores. Okay. Now, 12 crores was the balance, closing balance. And right in this particular year, we created 6 crore rupees of extra provision. That means before this particular year, means when this year started. At that time, RDD provision must have been 6 crores. That is how, that is closing balance of 12 crores minus 6 crores that was created in this particular year. So therefore, remaining 6 crores must have been the opening balance. Okay, further, research and development cost is there. Now, obviously, this is a long-term expense, so therefore, it has to be capitalized. This will be one of the adjustments uh, also that will be there. Then further, in this case, KE was there. Now, this particular thing, KD post-tax, that is 5%. Okay. Apart from that, in this case, your equity was 30 and uh, debt in this case is 70%. So, therefore, you all will understand this is KE, this is KD. And this will be helpful for getting the weight. So, for debt, it is your 30% and for equity, sorry, for debt, it is your 70%. For equity, it is 30%. Now, in part first, what you had to be doing, calculate EVA of the entire company for the year ending 31st of March 2020 based upon above information. So, therefore, we had to be doing that particular thing, compute your EVA. Now, for EVA, what did we start to be doing? Listen, listen, listen. We started away in this particular case with this particular figure, 176. This was your operating profit, but this was operating profit in this case before tax. First of all, we want after tax. So, therefore, less tax, but you got to be writing tax paid. Tax paid in this particular case was 23 crores. Over here, that particular thing was given. But then in 23 crores, we must have got the benefit of interest also. So, therefore, then we subtract that taxes on interest. So, therefore, interest was there with us. 42 into 30%, we subtracted that also. Once we all did that, then we started to get our NOPAT. Okay, now once we got NOPAT, we started to adjust it for all those adjustments that we had to be doing. All those adjustments means we added accounting depreciation and we subtracted economic depreciation. We added this Faltu provision back. Then we added the RDD cost back because it needs to be capitalized because the benefit will be coming in many years. Then non cash items also we all added over here. Okay, once we all did that, our job was more or less done only for this particular part. Okay, I'm just reading what we all have done. It was asked in November 2020 exams. Okay, then we have to be computing the EVA for 2019-20. Okay, then further compute KO for the entire company. That was quite easy because in the last two adjustments, no, all the details have been given to you. While computing the adjusted NOPAT, add accounting depreciation. Okay, 
uh, provision for bad and doubtful debt that was I think 6 crore rupees that was taken in this year's PNL account. This 6 crores has come from here that is this particular 6 crores. Okay, further R&D cost other non-cash items for 2019-20 subtract economic depreciation tax paid along with taxes uh, and interest. It is taxes on interest. Okay, further. While calculating adjusted opening capital employed. Now, this thing was very important. Okay. For EVA, we require adjusted opening capital employed. Now, adjusted opening capital employed in this particular case. First of all, first of all, first of all, in this particular case, some data was given to us. Adjusted opening capital employed. 2019-20, the opening capital employed was this particular figure. Okay. 2040. Now, in 2040, we had to be adjusting many things. What were things we all have adjusted? Now, we added the RDD provision that must be there on that particular day. As I told, 12 crore rupees was a closing provision on 31st of March 2020. 6 crores was created further in this particular year through the PNL account. So, therefore, on the first day, we must be having 6 crore rupees as RDD provision. That particular thing we all add back over here. Okay. Now, that is the explanation that I have tried to be writing. Basic knowledge. Okay. This is whatever you might have learnt in 11th and 12th. 12 crores was RDD provision on the last day that is 31st of March 2020 and 6 lakh rupees of further provision was created in this particular year hence the opening balance the opening provision must have been 12 crores minus 6 is equal to 6 crores this has to be added further we need to add non-cash expenses of the last year now this thing is important now see do remember last year's things will be affecting your opening capital employed so therefore these are last year's non-cash expenses that will be adjusted okay so therefore that particular thing we all will add to the capital employed okay once we all do that our job was done so we had our ko that we all did in the beginning okay that was the first thing then second thing we computed adjusted no pat then in that case we adjusted opening capital employed and everything was over once all these particular things were over eva had come and eva was negative in this question and hence we were asked to be commenting on that okay now few backgrounds about this particular company i have written point number five j c d s l company has two divisions WDO division and WPO division. WDO is a government regulated and ROCE from WDO division cannot be exceeding 6.5%. In WPO, the company can do anything. WDO is a stable business. We start to realize after some time, we try to be computing few ratios like, you know, your net profit ratio means your uh, profit ratio to sales. We try to find out that company is earning very high rate of profit from WPO operation that is that water packaging operation but it is earning good amount and higher amount absolute amount of income from WDO division. So therefore WDO is slightly a risk a uh, slightly a uh, stable kind of a business it is less risky because we have a monopoly situation and the other business that is wpo division is a competitive division okay uh, whereby the competition will be there in the market but we earn huge amount of returns on that okay wpo uh, is slightly riskier business with higher returns and high growth potential because we can increase the water supply from 20 to 35 percent okay further in the evaluation of the performance, we try to be saying that EVA is negative. Okay, now how to make EVA positive? Beta, your EVA in this particular case is nothing but EVA is calculated as adjusted NOPAT minus in this case KO into your opening capital employed. So therefore, it's common sense. Try to increase this, try to be decreasing this. So therefore, try in this case to increase your NOPAT. How the hell you will try to increase your NOPAT? Sir, we should try to concentrate more on WPO division. That is a packaging division. Because there is no regulation from the government that what should be the ROC of that. So therefore, that particular thing, you can try to be increasing the water supply also for that. From 20%, you can go up to 35%. Try to take risk in that business. Okay, because in any case, the other business is giving you good amount of stable income. Apart from that, KO, in case you want to be decreasing, you can try to add more amount of debt as compared to equity. Your capital employed, in this case, you can try to be decreasing. How? By trying to be selling those particular assets which are of no use to you. That will help you to decrease it. Okay. Now, that is whatever I have tried to give over here. The company needs to either increase adjusted NOPAT or decrease the cost of adjusted capital employed. 
For decreasing KO, try to decrease the equity and put debt. The company can reduce capital employed by selling the assets that are not utilized. To increase no pad, the company should try to increase the business from W. Uh, PO division that is water packaging operation that is whatever we all sell in the bisleri bottles or something like that okay then now this was your part one this was your part two part three assess whether jcdsl complies with the acceptable roce level do remember roce level was only for wdo division so therefore com uh, compute only for wdo division and that is why you are given capital employed separately now what i have done over here not compulsory you have to be doing it but we saw like this okay first we computed we used ebit because roce you know when i started uh, with the last lecture i told you roce these days has two formulas actually first some people say that you should try to take ebit upon capital employed into 100 some people say you should take earnings before interest but after tax okay so you can choose to do any one of them we took ebit in case you're going to be taking EBT, it's not a problem. Answer will be coming far lower. So therefore, like, you know, when we computed ROCE using this formula, this formula means EBIT upon capital employed into 100, that came to 6.25%. In fact, 6.25% was lower than 6.5. So everything was acceptable only. In case you try to be saying, sir, I want to be computing post tax. I don't have a problem. Then whatever this particular answer comes, you can multiply by 70%, I guess. Okay, because your tax rate was 30%. So it will be coming far lower. Even that particular thing will be acceptable. Now, one other kind of a confusion that does happen, sir, ROCE in CA interview all will taught, uh, were taught that EBIT upon it should be average capital employed. You can be taking that also. I have taken opening because in EV also we all had taken opening. That is actually not a justification, okay, but just because uh, I see I done that, so therefore I will take that particular thing only, okay. So that was in this case your this part and then in this case your last part over here, we are to be trying to be saying that how the company can improve the performance in terms of the profitability and EV. We again come back to the same thing. There is one business wdo business that is kind of a monopoly situation whereby we supply water to the household through the pipes up and so on it gives you good amount of stable income not very high returns but then it gives you higher absolute returns not higher percentage returns but higher absolute returns so that business is doing good and in that particular business i think in long run also will continue to be earning only that is one thing second thing wdo uh, sorry wpo division that is water packaging operation there is lot of competition because we'll be selling these kind of bottles in the market but then the amount of returns that you all can be getting is very high there's a good chance to increase this business also because the government has told us that you can in, uh, you can uh, use 35 percent of total water supply for this in case you're going to be doing that then profits from here might start to increase at a very high rate so therefore try to concentrate more on that particular business although don't let your core business fall down please now, that was one thing that we all had mentioned. This is how to be increasing the profitability. But one other thing also, even in WDO division, you can try to increase your returns to some particular extent. How? You can try to be doing that by, in this case, trying to control your expenses. If you try to be controlling your expenses, automatically your profit will rise. Somebody might always wonder, sir, if it rises and ROC goes above 6.5%, then in that case, we all can be penalized. So what is the use? We are already at 6.25%, sir. Okay, that is all perfect. Okay, but what you can try to argue with the government, you had told us that we cannot have return on capital employed more than 6.5%. Now, 6.5% is if suppose we all earn, that's okay. Suppose the revenue remains same from one year to the next year. We are earning 6.5%. That's okay. The, the government will be saying yes. Sir, in the next year, if we try to reduce our expenses, due to that, your numerator will start to be increasing. And suppose, sir, if it touches, say, 7%, at that time, we are not trying to increase our prices to be getting high return on capital employed. We are only trying to be controlling our cost. Uh, our cost. Government should be more or less convinced with this kind of an argument. That is whatever I've tried to write down in part uh, four over here. In part four, we have to say how the company can improve its performance. The company till now is only using 20% of the water for WPO. It can go up to 35%. Also, it can try to decrease its cost in WDO business. This might break that limit of ROC, but company can argue with the government that it is increasing its ROC by reducing its cost and not by increasing the prices of the water as such. Okay. That's it. This last question, as per me, is the best question that is there. Okay. I've given that particular question as three star. And questions like this can be asked because 
it's not only about the calculation part it's about trying to analyze whatever the situation is okay thank you i'll see you all next time okay take care bye